Welcome to the Teaching Electronic Medical Record. When you want to find a population of patients in the database with particular diagnosis, symptoms, or lab results, you can search the database by clicking on the Administration tab. Then click on Patient Locator in the column on the left. If previous queries have been created, they will appear in alphabetic order. To create a new query, click on the New Query button at the top of the page. You will be prompted to assign a name to your query. Enter a name that you would like as the label. Then click the field below to give the query a short description. When you are finished, click OK. The start of your new query will open. If you decide to change the name or description in the future, just click on the link. The first box below Criteria determines how strict you want to be in the search. Sort based on all criteria you select, or do you want to include patients that just meet one or two of the listed criteria? Click on the down arrow next to Choose Criterion to see the options for search filters. Click on Criteria that best applies. Each criteria filter is a bit different in the details it requires. Fill out the details to help refine your search. Click on Add Another to get more specific details and narrow the search. When searching terms, enter the first three to five characters of a term and search for the best match in the drop-down. Remember that some of these may be coded terms and will have answers associated with them. Also, there may be different search terms used to collect the same data, so you may want to search or select more than one term that applies to the same criteria. In some cases, you will need to specify the result or answer to that search term to get the right representation. You can also narrow the date range. Notice there is a running tally in the upper right-hand corner that displays the number of patients in the database that meet the criteria. Click on OK when you are done. Use the scroll bar to see the patients in the database that meet your criteria. Patients can be added to the courses, lessons within the courses, and groups within the lessons. It is recommended that you preview the patient's medical record before assigning them to a course lesson or group. To select the patient to review, click on View Chart highlighted in blue next to the patient name you wish to review. Once clicked, notice that the name in the upper left-hand corner of the screen now matches your selected patient. Click the View Chart tab at the top of the screen to open the record. You now have open access to all the stored data on the patient. Click on Chart Search for a quick search of labs, meds, reports, and other significant data. Type the first three to five characters of the term you would like to search, and then press Enter or click on the Search button. A lightning-fast search will be performed of both the coded and non-coded data. The term you used to search will now be highlighted in the record to help you scan and find what you're looking for. If the patient appears to be appropriate for the course and a lesson within the course, click back on the Administration tab to return to the selected page. To add a patient to a lesson, you must first add them to a course. Click on the Add To button next to the patient's name. Click on the down arrow next to the Select Course field. Select from the available courses presented. Click on the Lesson down arrow to assign to a lesson within the course selected. And click on the arrow next to the Select Group and click on the group you wish to assign to. Click on Save when you are finished. Patient will now appear on the list of available patients for the students when they are in their lesson portion of the application. Patients can belong to more than one course and multiple patients can be available for students in lessons. That concludes the tutorial. We hope that you found this useful.